Hi guys, welcome to DB Automotive. My name is Brian James and this is a channel dedicated to the renewal, restoration and rebuilding of older vehicles. If you're following the channel, thank you very much. I really do appreciate it. And if you're new to the channel and you like what you see, please hit like and subscribe. Uh, I do post every week or I try to post every week with updates on the vehicles that I am rebuilding. Uh, so unfortunately for this week I can't post anything up on the bus as the Clubman style car that I'm standing in front of is taking up all my time. Um, I'd like to get it going by say November, um, mid-November or end of November which leaves me December for test and tune. Uh, come the beginning of next year I have or would like to go on a 5000k trip around New Zealand called the Fraser 5000. I have been on it before, um, half of it anyway, so for me it was like the Fraser 2500. Um, and I'd like to complete it this time. It's a great bunch of guys and girls, and it's a very fun time. Anyway, shall we get on to what I've been doing in the past week? I think it's easier just to um, grab you off the tripod that you're standing on at the moment, and I will show you and talk to you and go through what we've been doing. So, you be with me for a sec. Right, we'll try and make that transition as smooth as possible. Okay, so, as you can see, we've now got a radiator. I'm just in the process of getting that sorted, um, sitting where I want it, and I'll probably run the pipe work for that. Uh, we're doing the final fit for the brake units, and if we go down below, we'll see that I'm just setting up all the pedal assembly. Uh, if we come back into the cabin, I've also made a gear shifter knob, want of a better word. And if we look underneath it, you'll see that it's got an insert in it. Now that insert is M20, so it's a nice thick thread for the plastic um, with an M12 uh, unit tapped into it for the uh, gear lever. As we go underneath, we can see that um, because I'm not using a cable operated speedo, I've had to block off that part of the gearbox. And so that is a plug that I've made using the original uh, O-ring from the speedo drive to seal it up. Uh, so that should be stop any oil leaking out. Now, as we go around the front, um, I've made... Uh, it's a, it's a stabiliser unit for the motor. So the motor is rubber mounted, but I don't want it rocking all over the place, especially as it's uh, very close to the brake pipe work. So this will just stop it from uh, doing anything silly. Now, that's got a, a left and a right hand thread. So as you do this up, it can close it up or extend it. And you just lock it here. So it, it's now set to where it needs to be. Um, Okay, as we come over to here, we've uh, you can now see that I've got a floor sitting there. So that'll eventually get uh, bolted up and into the chassis. So at the moment, I'm just making sure that it, it fits and it, it's where I want it to be. Uh, the drive shaft's now being put in. Um, all the pipe work, as you can see, I've got pipe work coming up and under. So this part of the frame is uh, 25 mil or one inch if you're using Freedom units. And what I've done, tried to do, is keep this tucked right and up and underneath, up into there, so it's nice and protected, especially from the drive shaft. If anything goes wrong, it's not going to take out my brakes. Um, on this side here, I have all the wiring. So, oh yes, I've run the wiring to the back now. 
um, which includes the uh, ground uh, electric fuel pump, um, sender unit for the fuel tank. Uh, while we're on fuel tank, you'll see that I've now got a rubber isolator between the aluminium fuel tank and the steel strapping. So I'm a lot happier about that. I don't like the idea of just having the steel strapping straight onto the aluminium tank. I do know that it holds it firm, but this way I know that it's not going to go anywhere and it's certainly not going to wear its way into the aluminium. Uh, also we've put uh, all new, these are return lines. We've got new fuel return lines. Um, if I come up here, I've got a 90 degree unit that needs to go in there. I've just tested it for the straight unit, but of course it goes straight into the frame. I need the 90 to come down to the uh, in, intake for the fuel pump. If I come around here a bit more, you can see that um, I've got the bumper now sitting on there nice and happy and all its struts underneath, all its strength underneath. And so here we've got, that's the uh, fuel pump, all the electrical connection, uh, the earth, and then all the wires going through to the where the indicators will be. Okay, I think that pretty much covers what I've done in the past week. I've also uh, fitted the fenders so I can start fitting up the new brake lights and indicators. So look, we'll just put you back onto the... Um, I also... <laughs> so setting the throttle, making sure that I'm not going to overdo it. So yeah, look, that, that's the work that we've been doing uh, for the past week. As I say, it's I'm starting to get stuck into it and we need to get it done fairly quick. Next week, I hope to have uh, all the wiring to the engine all routed and connected. And the brake lights indicators also connect, uh, at least sit, bolted into the fenders and connected. Now I also have uh, new indicators for the front fenders so hopefully next week you'll also see that connected up as well. So if there are any questions you wish to ask by all means please ask in the comments below. I'm more than happy to answer anything that you may wish to know. Um, yeah look it's I, I really do appreciate you taking the time to watch the video and, and appreciate and see what I'm doing. I appreciate it for sure. So, like I said, if you like what you see, hit like and subscribe, and I'll catch you guys next week. You have a good one. Thank you. Bye.